Hello everyone. Welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS Online video tutorial series. My name is Sean and today we're going to look at an example of a number of different features of uh, PSD to CSS Online but uh, most notably uh, a feedback form it's for your uh, customers. You have people who visit your website. You'd like to let them leave you a note or a message, some kind of feedback about your website. Um, you don't want to force them to, to use their own email client and go just take an address and go make an email on their own. Um, you'd just like them to fill out a form and press submit and, uh, and you get the, uh, the feedback. So uh, this is kind of an advanced example in that we're going to use uh, Ajax. Um, to to fire off the form so that we never actually leave our page and uh, there's another simpler example that uh, that will be posted soon uh, but in the meantime here's a more advanced example so let's take a look at uh, what we're going to start with here we are in Photoshop and uh, this is an example of this is our our page we're going to make um, so you can see we have a form here a feedback form tell us what you think a place for our user to put email and a message and hit submit we have uh, a little red bar over here called, that has the word feedback on it. That's how they're going to make this form open up. And then the otherwise, it's just a pretty standard page. We've got a big content area back here. Um, here, I'll remove the form. So this big rectangle here is where the content will actually go, the text. Our feedback button. Let's see. Let's zoom in here. Our feedback button is uh, fixed. So uh, you'll see how that just stays in one place on the page even if you scroll later I'll show you how that works and we've got another other than that we have mostly uh, you know some underscore link and underscore text we have some of the standard PSD to CSS online uh, layer naming conventions used here but we have another trick that we're going to take advantage of too um, I'll show you this feedback form again I want to, after our users fill this out I'd like them to, to see a thank you so you can see underneath my form I've got the words we have received your message thank you so, um, so it's just another layer in the in the Photoshop file, but it's underneath my form. What I'm going to do is write some code in a moment uh, after we convert uh, to make this fade out, so that uh, it looks like when they submit their form, a thank you fades in. That's what it'll look like. So uh, first, let's just convert this the way it is at PSD to CSS Online. You'll see exactly what's generated by default. So we will go to uh, PSD to CSS Online here. And it's in our feedback folder. We'll go ahead and upload it. So right now, the the Photoshop file that we were just looking at is uploading to PSD, PSD to CSS online. It's converting into uh, CSS and HTML, and um, it's going to present us here with a a zip file we can download with all our code and images, um, and also a link where we can preview it. So we don't even have to download it to see what it looks like. We can actually watch it work. Uh, we host it for you at PSD to CSS Online for uh, 24 hours so that you can check it out. So it should be done pretty soon here. And there we go. So we will take a look at the preview. So this is the code that was just generated from that Photoshop file directly. Um, you can see this is where the content area is. Not a whole lot of content there right now. You can hear I'll make our window much smaller. We can just maybe see the. So you can see our feedback button there. If I scroll down, the feedback button stays. Let's see, I'll need to make it even smaller for you to see that. Huh? Is this going to work? There we go. You can see the page scrolls, but the feedback button stays perfectly still. So no matter where your user goes on the page, they'll always see that feedback button. That's why we used underscore fixed. But the code was all written for us so that if you click on this, the, because that's a menu, that opens up and our form is, is available there. By default, it disappears after four seconds. So users can type whatever they want. And we made a uh, close button so they can close it. So that's what it did by default. Now I'm going to show you what it does after I made some, uh, uh, some custom modifications. And uh, then I'm going to show you the modifications and, real briefly because uh, YouTube only allows me 10 minute videos. And um, and you can see on the website, you can download the uh, original PSD and you can download all the source code after I made the modifications and uh, learn how to do this more advanced uh, feedback form um, that way. So uh, here's the, here's the uh, same exact page after I've made the modifications. This is hosted currently in the tutorial section at PSD to CSS Online. You get a better view of uh, 
we can scroll a lot further so you can see how uh, that feedback button stays stays put. Um, but what I really want to have happen is I want the feedback thing to fade in instead of uh, kind of rolling in like it does by default. I don't want it to go away by itself. I want it to stay until I'm done filling it in. See, so yeah, I can I can close it by hitting that and see how it fades out as well. So it fades in. I can put my email, John at psd2cssonline.com, and my message is, hey, this is cool. Okay. And when I press submit, what I want to have happen is for that to fade out and for we have received your message, thank you, to fade in. And it does. And then the user can close that. So that's how people use my, uh, oh, that's right, I didn't need the scroll bar. So that's uh, that's how people use my website. And let me show you a little bit of the code that was uh, modified to make that happen. So we'll start with, uh, this is index.html. Um, it's the code that was generated by uh, PSD to CSS Online. I didn't have to touch this f at all. Um, this is exactly the way that it was generated by PSD to CSS Online. <clears throat> Excuse me. One thing I did, what I did have to uh, modify, is the PSD to CSS JavaScript file. There's a, mu a bunch of JavaScript changes that we made. So one of the neat uh, things that we have going on in there is all the fading in and fading out instead of uh, the roll in and roll out that menus do uh, by default for PSD to CSS Online. And I did that by taking out all of the hide and show functions there's that were here and put in fade out and fade in. So uh, Again, I got to go kind of fast here, uh, but uh, here's a, here's an example of a hide. Um, the default code that's generated by PST to CSS Online is all hides and shows. If you replace them with fades and fades out, fade in and fade out, then uh, then you'll get the that cool fade out uh, feature. Uh, that was all written. Here's here's the big chunk that's uh, the biggest chunk that's done by uh, by hand. We hijack the click event for our submit button. Um, there's already code generated by PSD to CSS Online to do that, to hijack that click button and, and submit the form. Um, but uh, in this case, we're going to use do some AJAX um, and submit the form to this formmail.php script. Um, we use the formmail.php script from tektite.com. That's what I'm using currently. Um, you can go to tektite.com and uh, find their form mail script and download it. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. They have great documentation. Um, so I won't go through all the code because I don't have a lot of time, but uh, um, this section right here is, is what I added. You can uh, uh, download this from the, from the PSD to CSS online, online site, the tutorial here, and, uh, and see what it is. Um, I think I'll add some more uh, comments here to make a little more sense of it. Um, but what happens is the formal script gets fired off, but you never actually leave your page. It's an AJAX call. It happens from inside your browser but you don't actually leave your page. So that's why we can show the nice thank you uh, instead of having to go to some other page after we've submitted this form. So, uh, so but that's the bottom line is, um, is using the formal.php script from Tektite. You, I just copied it into the same folder that, uh, that my generated code was and put it on my web server. And, uh, um, and make a couple of changes to your to your code by hand, and you can have a nice AJAX uh, feedback form um, with fading in and fading out of the form, and a nice thank you at the bottom. And uh, I guess that's it. If you have any questions, please uh, join the forums at uh, PSD to CSS Online uh, or shoot me an email. Uh, thanks.